A major milestone in the coronavirus pandemic. It's been one year since Pfizer's COVID-19 vaccine was approved. The first vaccine available in the fight against the virus. Nisa Jack's consumer investigator Lauren Verno is joining us now. Lauren, uh, really have come a long way since then. Absolutely, Ken. I remember one year ago today we were live on air when the FDA almost unanimously voted to approve Pfizer's vaccine. Now, since then, 480 million shots have been administered. 60% of Americans are fully vaccinated, but new cases are up 22% since November 24th as the Delta continues to surge across much of the country. And now the Omicron variant is in at least 30 states, including right here in Florida and Georgia, which has some doctors, including Dr. Shalika Katugaha, cautiously optimistic about where we are one year later. I feel like we've come an extraordinarily long way. That said, we have a long way to go as well. So how did we get here? Well, on December 11th of 2020, the FDA authorized Pfizer BioNTech's COVID-19 vaccine for individuals 16 and older. Then three days later, December 14th of 2020, UF Health CEO, he gets the first COVID-19 vaccine in Jacksonville. Then on December 18th, the FDA authorized Moderna's COVID-19 vaccine for individuals 18 and older. Then we're going to move on to February 21st, 2021, a sombering milestone. 500,000 Americans died from COVID-19. Then February 27th, 2021, the FDA authorized Johnson and Johnson's COVID-19. Then we're going to move to March. On March 13th, 2021, U.S. surpasses 100 million vaccinations administered, a major milestone. Then in May, the 10th of May to be exact, the FDA expands Pfizer's vaccines for teens 12 to 15 years old. Then on August 12, 2021, FDA authorized booster shots for Pfizer and Moderna's vaccines for immunocompromised. So this is the first time we actually saw booster shots being recommended. Then October 29th, FDA expands Pfizer's vaccine for kids Five to 11. And then finally, we're going to go down here. December 9th, 2021, FDA recommends Pfizer's booster shots for anyone 16 and older. Has it just been remarkable to watch how much has been done in a year? This has been the year of, of science, of infectious disease, kind of what I went to medical school for. We've seen it all play out. You know, there was a pandemic, there was this virus that came, and then scientists came and created a, a new a platform, granted, that's been around, but they utilize this platform. I mean, it's really scientifically, um, people will look at these two years and write books about how much we've accomplished. Now, when I asked the doctor or what we've learned most over the last year from vaccines is they are effective and safe and the data proves it. Yet 40% of Americans remain unvaccinated as we end the new year combating this new variant. Kent, Mary, 